we've got a long way to go to improve the management of thyroid cancer in the UK. Thyroid cancer is very much a neglected but important cancer type. Clinicians that are engaged in the management of thyroid cancer patients are very, very supportive of organisations such as the Butterfly. There are over 2,100 new patients with thyroid cancer diagnosed every year in the UK. Patients need someone around for the most part who they can relate to. Any cancer diagnosis is devastating. Thyroid cancer doesn't get a lot of media coverage, there isn't a lot of information there. So they need to know who to look for to get that information and support. I was in the checkout queue in Asda and my mobile phone rang and it was my surgeon. He just had to break the news to a young girl who was 23 and her family that she had thyroid cancer. He said, look, would you mind talking to them because you've just been through this, you know what's going to happen, but I'm sure it would help if she could talk to somebody else who'd been there. And really that was the start of Butterfly. It wasn't long before one patient turned into a hundred patients. In 2000, I was diagnosed with follicular thyroid cancer. It came totally out of the blue, totally unexpected. During the first year of this disease, I, I recognised there were a lot of things that could have made my journey, my first year with cancer, better things that weren't going to cost a lot of money. Things like being given written information when I was diagnosed. The main thing was not being able to talk to anybody else who'd been in the same position as me. I had a meeting with the hospital management and they supported me with a donation from Charlie Bear and this meant I could get a helpline into the office at home and a computer. So we started from there and the word spread. Butterfly started off as a local organisation in Newcastle. Word soon got round that Butterfly operated a help phone line where patients could ring any time during the week and get information and support about the newly diagnosed cancer. Centres all around the country began referring patients and uh, Butterfly became national. Three years ago I went to a conference in Toronto to give a presentation and when I was there I met with some other patient organisation leads from other countries. So we sat down and we talked about all of the work that we did in our own countries and while we were all very busy and having success really in supporting people, we realised that if we could get together and present one big voice for this little understood and little known cancer, then perhaps we would get the patient voice heard better. So that was the beginnings of what is now the International Thyroid Cancer Alliance, of which I'm the president. My mum found an article about Kate setting up the charity up in Newcastle and thought she sounded like a useful person to speak to. The relationship really was very much over the phone. Kate was in Newcastle, I was in London having treatment and so for the first few months it was very much, you know, I would ring her whenever I was feeling low or she would ring me to check in and see how I was getting on. It was very new at the time when I was speaking with Kate and it's grown and grown in terms of its popularity with patients, I think, as more and more people have found out about themselves having thyroid cancer and, and needing some some patient-to-patient -patient support. It's almost a lifeline for patients that are seen initially and they just require that, that personal support that we as doctors can't always give. These are often young patients. Young people do not expect to be told 
that they've got a cancer. When patients are diagnosed, they're stunned. They can't think properly. All they think is uh, cancer, can it kill me? And it's not just them. It's all of their loved ones around them are having their own difficulties as well. I work on the basis that patients will remember no more than about 10 or 15% of what you tell them. Once you mention the word cancer, the 10 or 15% what they normally remember um, is even less. When you've been in control of your life, that is taken away. It's something that you have no control over and you have to put your trust in the hands of others. And the treatment of this cancer is totally different to that of other cancers. How I learned about the Butterfly Trust was through an operation performed just under two hours, which was the removal of half of my thyroid and the re removal of the tumour, which ended up being benign. But the experience was a life-changing experience because um, you know, I lived with the threat of, of cancer for for five weeks, it has brought me much more of an understanding of people who have cancer and suffer from it. My clinical oncologist in Newcastle had an absolute storming idea. And he said, Kate, how would you like to come into clinic to meet the newly diagnosed patients, to support them? to show them how well you are, to talk to them one-to-one -one on a patient basis, not as a nurse, not as a doctor. How would you feel about doing that? And I love the idea. Absolutely love the idea. This was a bit of a step for the hospital to bring in someone who is not employed by the hospital, not a healthcare professional. There isn't anybody else in this situation who does it. And we started very slowly, very gently, and I was monitored every step of the way so they knew everything I was doing, everything I was seeing, and it worked really well. That was nine years ago that that started, so I've done it for nine years as a volunteer. The patient will come in, they'll meet the doctors, they'll meet the nurses, and then they're told that there's someone in clinic who has had the same as them, who is better, would they like to meet me? And 99% of people take up the offer. I'll take them round and show them all of the scanning unit, talk them through what happens when they have their body scan, and then I'll take them up to the radioactive iodine suite and they can ask me whatever they want. I give self-help tips about drinking plenty of fluid. And they'll go off with my contact details the specialist nurse's details, and we know that these patients are getting the best possible support that we can offer them. When your cancer is rare, you need to have access to reliable information that you can trust about your disease. And certainly when I was diagnosed, there was nobody I could talk to who had had this disease. No one at all. At the time of diagnosis, I wasn't pointed in the direction of Ennis Park. Every time I had a question, they weren't forthcoming in anything, any information that, that I wanted. It was just using the internet and just finding out the horror stories which were on there. When the surgeon told me I had cancer, there was no information given to me on, on anything really. That's why I looked on Google and tried to find it out myself. The internet is a very frightening place in, in many ways. That was the worst experience of my life and if I went back and said, how would I do things again? I wouldn't go on to the internet. I came across quite a lot of overseas-based thyroid support. Overseas treatment is totally different to in the UK. And then I, I came across Butterfly. Uh, that was the only UK-based thyroid support that I'd come across. So I had a look at the website, uh, just found so much knowledge there that I just didn't know about before that I hadn't been given. I think it's been vital for me in that speaking to somebody that's also had thyroid cancer, you can't beat that kind of support because that person can understand exactly how you've been feeling and can give you some reassurance about things are going to be fine. Talking to someone else who's got it is just like, wow, I'm not alone and that was great. I can remember telling everyone I've just spoke to you know, this lady and she's told me all this. And just getting little tips like drink a lot of fluid, take some chewing gum in with you just to keep your salivary glands and things like that open. It's just, 
priceless, I guess, for me. The patients need someone around, for the most part, who they can relate to and what you are going through. Because with the best will in the world, no doctor or nurse, unless they've actually gone through the treatment, will really know what it's like. And so the patient expert is someone who's been through it and can give at least some insight into their personal experience. For all doctors treating patients with thyroid cancer, there's a clear message that they and the hospitals in which they work in should listen to the patient voice. A single patient voice may be difficult. It requires an individual patient to feel sufficiently empowered to say what didn't go so well and might give rise to better treatment for other patients. And sometimes patients just want to know more about the condition or have clarity about the condition, even when it's been explained simply and well. And that's, I think, one of the great values of patient support groups such as Butterfly. As the number of patients grew and the, the phone line was getting busier and busier, it was obvious that I wasn't going to be able to deal with this all on my own. Some of the patients that I had supported one-to-one -one got through their treatment and got better and they became patient support contacts in their own right. After getting support from Butterfly, Kate asked me if I'd be a support contact as a parent of a child with thyroid cancer uh, to have the perspective from, from a mum's point of view rather than a, a patient's point of view. So I agreed. Butterfly isn't externally funded. Everything that we get has to come from grants, donations, or from fundraising. A lot of patients who we've supported have done wonderful work for us. They've done things like the Great North Run, or they've climbed Kilimanjaro, things like that. My sister's done like a half marathon and raising money for them. I've done a little charity football event just because, yeah, they've helped me out so much. We have national guidelines for thyroid cancer and Kate Farnell was importantly involved in putting in patient perspectives into the guidelines. There have been national trials set up, the high-low, in which she gave advice as to what would be suitable for the patients. And indeed, the next trial, which is about to be launched, called ION, and that's the next step down the pathway. Through working with Kate, we came on board with the Thyroid Patient Information Pack, which I have to say has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm I felt very proud to be on board with this. Um, this has all the information regarding the uh, thyroid cancer diagnosis. It's got our localised uh, supportive information and it's got the uh, TSH expression information in as well. Um, it's very useful for patients as well because they have um, or are offered consultation records and so everything can be put into the pack and all kept together. There would never ever been a thyroid cancer awareness event of any kind in the UK. Fortunately for me, uh, one of the girls that I'd been closely involved with is married to a film director. So we got involved with him and he put together a TV ad. It's one of the fastest increasing cancers among women in the UK. We had the kind help from former Miss Great Britain and it's a beautiful piece of work. So the TV ad ran for two weeks and part of the message that that gave people was to check for any lumps in their neck but also to drive them to come along to a public neck check event at the biggest shopping mall in Europe which is in the Gateshead Metro Centre on a Saturday in September. We had the help of 12 top thyroid specialists come along on the day and the night before I have to admit I didn't sleep at all because I was worried that nobody would come, nobody would turn up and that couldn't have been farther from the truth. During the course of the day we saw a thousand people 
At all times there were at least 300 people in the queue and the wait time was 90 minutes. Out of the 1,000 people that were checked by the doctors, 37 were deemed to need further investigation. Out of those 37, we found out that um, two newly thyroid cancer diagnoses were made. One was because of the TV ad and another was because of the neck check in the Metro Centre. She never stops and having been through the cancer journey, patients will tell you, they will say, you know, how do you feel? Oh, I feel tired, I feel wiped out, all I want to do is, you know, lie in my bed to deal with that as well as what she does. But she's just an inspiration. This exercise is hand-holding, but hand-holding in a sort of controlled, unbiased uh, way. The reason Butterfly has been so successful so rapidly is pretty obvious to me. It was because it's a good idea, and because it works, and because there was a big gap in the management of patients who had thyroid cancer in particular. No doubt that patients benefit from talking to other patients. Medical advancement is not just inventing a new operation or a new drug, but it's also the other aspects of having to deal with the life-threatening condition. We are now a quadruple award-winning charity. Biggest successes for me uh, will always be seeing a patient coming out the other side. No one needs to go through this disease alone. Support is out there. We're always there for the patients. The person I would like to thank most through all of this is Kate Farnell, because I really don't think I'd be sat here in this position right now without the support that Butterfly gave me.